we had somebody reach out asking how we built this. Uh, we have another video further down that shows it, but uh, essentially a quick overview. Um, these are all brewer's fittings to be able to connect all this, like the temperature gauge and everything. And then also the heating element, it's all connected with like tri-clamp and all different types of brewer's fittings. Um, then you have braided cord right here because you don't want your water flowing in through just a regular water hose because you'll melt it up. This gets extremely hot. There's a stainless steel float valve in there. There's a heating element. Um, it's off of Amazon. Uh, we have RTV around this edge so that there's a good seal when we put the lid on here. This is just a big pot that has insulation wrapped around it. This is a high pressure, high temp hose. Uh, we got that from the petrochemical plants. Um, with a clamp around it, uh, brewer's fittings all through here. This is a brewer's fitting, um, so you can you can find that. We also have a whole bunch of stuff on Amazon, but I mean you can probably find better alternatives that'll work for you. But um, we have then in here it looks rusted, it looks terrible. We switched these out. These are just shelves that were cut to fit. Um, it looks all rusted, but it still sterilizes. This is not ideal if you were wanting to do like crazy amounts and stuff. But um, but this fits about 60 10 pound blocks. So this creates the steam. The steam raises, goes through here, rises, comes through this. Our bricks here keep it, keep the bags above the, um, above the steam line to where the steams just dissipates or raises up all through here. Um, our lid right here is a sheet of plywood and then we framed out with two by fours all throughout it. We put, um, housing just like drywall insulation all through it and then wrapped it with this thermal insulation um you we used uh aluminum tape to to seal up all the edges this is a horse trough it has pipe insulation all around the top um this has drywall insulation under it and then we wrapped it with this sheeting again um it's it's really basic it's just a boiler and then it has a vessel that you put your stuff in. Um, this gets up uh, to 211, like 0.8 degrees, and we run that for a few hours. But essentially, we turn it, we make our bags, we um, fill this up, we turn it on, it gets to temp later that evening. The next morning, we come in and we shut it off. There's controllers that you can do that automate all of it for you, but we just put that money somewhere else for now. Um, also, we have a pressure regulator right here that comes out of this. Um, you do get hard water in here, but we have a water softener on the house, which prolongs the life of your heating element and everything. Uh, you need to clean that out as much as you can, but that powder residue is just going to stay. 